What's up, smart homers? My name's Aaron. If you've never heard of Yolink smart home devices, you're in for a pleasant surprise. One of the limitations of Wi-Fi, Zigbee, and Z-Wave devices is their communication range. But I'm about to show you another set of devices that work on a totally different protocol and have a range of up to a quarter of a mile. Yolink is a line of smart home devices by YoSmart that uses a LoRa-based RF protocol. LoRa, which stands for long range, boasts a long transmission distance with low power usage. This type of smart product is great for a situation where you need to put it somewhere that's outside of your Wi-Fi network and outside of your Zigbee or Z-Wave mesh. Not only does it have long range and low power usage, but it has the ability to penetrate concrete and metal far better than Z-Wave or Zigbee. If you remember my mailbox notifications video, you remember that I was having a hard time getting my Z-Wave contact sensor to communicate from inside my metal mailbox because of the Faraday shield effect that was interfering with the signal. Later on, we're gonna be testing these devices to see if they can communicate inside a metal mailbox where my Z-Wave device couldn't. These devices do require a hub which communicates with these devices individually, but they do also offer device-to-device -device pairing. This is similar to direct association with Z-Wave devices. As far as hardware, Yolink sells a wide variety of devices, including contact sensors, motion sensors, leak sensors, temperature and humidity sensors, power plugs, locks, and more. Although device-to-device -device pairing can be done, they sell a hub, and each device can be paired with it using a QR code. Once connected, some basic notifications and automations can be set up in the app. Unfortunately, the hub does require cloud connectivity, but I do have some news about this I'll share with you at the end of the video. I'm not gonna get into all the features of the app with things like notifications because I wanna mainly focus on Home Assistant integration, but if you wanna see a lot more detail about the different products and how they work with the app, definitely check out Automate Your Life's video on the Yolink system. I'll leave a link to that one in the description. One thing I should note is that the Yolink hub can be integrated directly with Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant via the cloud. Okay, so let's talk about the Home Assistant integration. This integration was added in the 2022.6 release of Home Assistant, and since it's a built-in integration, it's super easy to set up. Just go to Settings, Devices and Services, and then search for Yolink. Click it, and then it's gonna open up a new browser tab. Here, you're gonna be asked to grant Home Assistant access to and control over your Yolink devices. Click the I Confirm checkbox, and then click the Login YoSmart button. It'll ask you to sign in using your Yolink or YoSmart credentials, and after you do so, it's gonna show you a message saying that you're done and you can close the window. Back in Home Assistant, you're gonna see that your new device or devices have been added, matching the description in the Yolink app. Set an area if you want for these devices, and then click Finish. If you add more devices to your Yolink hub, you just have to reload the integration for them to show up. If you click the device, you'll see the device attributes. I got contact sensors, so for me it shows the open and closed state of the sensor and the battery level. As with all Home Assistant integrations, it's very important that you read the documentation because not all of Yolink's sensors or devices are supported at this time. According to the current documentation, the supported devices are smart plug, siren alarm, door sensor, indoor and outdoor motion sensors, the vibration sensor, lock, valve controller, light switch, thermostat, carbon monoxide and smoke sensor, water leak sensor, and temperature and humidity sensors. Another thing to mention with this integration is that it uses the Yolink API and so it's reliant upon the Yolink cloud. You can always tell if an integration requires cloud connectivity by looking at the top right of the documentation where it tells you the type of communication. YoSmart advertises the range of these sensors as up to a quarter of a mile, so I decided to test. I walked to the opposite corner of my block, which is roughly a quarter of a mile or 400 meters. The contact sensor reliably sent open and close commands to the hub until it got to about 400 feet away before it just kind of dropped off. This isn't line of sight, which is what Yolink really advertises, and there are a few houses kind of in the way, and my hub was in the basement, so it's likely that some of those things caused the range to be decreased, but I'm just not sure this thing could really reach a quarter of a mile. I decided to move the hub upstairs to my living room and set it on an end table that's right near the window, hoping to see if that would extend the range at all, but it really didn't seem to. 
I also tested this one in my metal mailbox since it's advertised to work through metal and sure enough it worked without any issue. I actually replaced the Z-Wave sensor that I had there previously, the one that you saw in my mailbox video. I also added one of these to the door of my shed, which is at the back of my yard, out of range of my Z-Wave and Zigbee networks, so that I can get notifications if I leave my shed door open. Even though the range in my experience was far less than a quarter of a mile, it's still way better than Zigbee and Z-Wave in my experience. The long range opens up a new world of possibilities with all the different devices that Yosmart offers. They have a key fob, which you could keep in your car and use it as a garage door opener. They have a light switch so you can control your lights in your shed or other outbuilding without having to have Wi-Fi out there. They have an outdoor motion sensor that you can place out of range of Wi-Fi, but it would still be in range with Yolink and a ton more devices. There are two main issues though. First, the Home Assistant integration only supports some of the devices, but it is obvious that they're adding them very rapidly and I'm sure most of them will be supported before long. The second issue though is what I already mentioned before, the fact that their hub and the Home Assistant integration both require that Yolink cloud access. The good news is that I was in contact with Yolink's chief business officer and he told me that they have plans to come out with a local hub by the end of this year. If this happens, it's going to be a game changer for Home Assistant users, another device protocol to add to their already robust smart home hub. Now, obviously you don't buy products based on a promise. So if cloud connectivity is a problem for you, I suggest holding off until we see evidence of this local hub and until the Home Assistant integration can work locally. Anyway, that's all I got for you in this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing something a little different than the typical Zigbee, Z-Wave, Wi-Fi stuff that I normally talk about. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And as always, thanks for watching. See you.